The Chronovisor, a theoretical journey into viewing the past. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a mind-blowing concept that straddles the line between science fiction and speculative science, the Chronovisor. Imagine having a device that lets you view past events as if they were happening right in front of you. Sounds incredible, right? Let's explore how we might theoretically realize such a device using cutting-edge concepts like quantum entanglement, time crystals, superconductors, and electromagnetic radiation. Understanding Electromagnetic Radiation First, let's break down some key concepts. Electromagnetic radiation is energy that travels through space as waves. This includes visible light, radio waves, microwaves, X-rays, and gamma rays. Every time an event occurs, it creates disturbances or waves in the electromagnetic field. Think of these waves as ripples on a pond caused by throwing a stone. Each ripple carries information about the event that created it. These disturbances are all around us, traveling through space and time. However, over time and distance, these waves can weaken, a process known as attenuation. Attenuation means the disturbance from a past event gets weaker in amplitude as it spreads out and interacts with other waves and particles. Quantum entanglement explained. Now, let's talk about quantum entanglement. This is a phenomenon where two particles become linked in such a way that the state of one particle instantly affects the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. Imagine two magic coins. If you flip one and it lands on heads, the other one, no matter where it is in the universe, also lands on heads at the same time. This might sound like magic, but it's a real effect observed in quantum physics. What are time crystals? Next up, time crystals. These are a special type of matter that repeats in time, not just in space. In regular crystals, like diamonds or salt, the atoms are arranged in a repeating pattern in space. In time crystals, this pattern repeats over time, meaning they have a structure that can, remember, past states. This unique property makes time crystals excellent candidates for storing temporal information. Superconductors and their role. Superconductors are materials that can conduct electricity without resistance when cooled to extremely low temperatures. This property makes them ideal for creating highly efficient and sensitive devices. In our chronovisor framework, superconductors could be used to enhance the sensitivity and efficiency of our electromagnetic sensors, ensuring they can detect even the faintest disturbances from past events. Building the chronovisor, hypothetical framework. Let's break down our speculative chronovisor framework in detail. Detecting electromagnetic disturbances, first, we need supersensitive electromagnetic sensors. These sensors can detect the tiny disturbances in the electromagnetic field caused by past events. Think of these sensors as incredibly fine-tuned ears that can hear the faintest whispers from the past. Superconductors could be used to build these sensors, providing them with the necessary sensitivity to pick up even the weakest signals, despite the attenuation. These disturbances from past events are found throughout the electromagnetic spectrum, but they are often faint and mixed with current noise, so the sensors need to be extremely precise and capable of filtering out modern-day electromagnetic noise. Quantum sensors and time crystals. Once we have the sensors, they need to be paired with quantum particles and time crystals. The quantum sensors use particles that are entangled, allowing them to capture information about electromagnetic disturbances accurately. When these sensors detect electromagnetic waves, the information is encoded into time crystals. These time crystals act as a temporal storage device, recording the disturbances in a way that can be preserved and analyzed. The repetitive nature of time crystals ensures that the data remains consistent over time. This process involves complex mechanisms to translate the captured electromagnetic signals into a format that time crystals can store, essentially creating a temporal snapshot of the past events. Quantum data transmission. After the information is captured and stored, it needs to be transmitted back to a central processing unit. This is where the network of quantum entangled particles comes into play. The entangled particles can transmit the information instantaneously, regardless of the distance. This transmission method ensures that the data remains intact and uncorrupted during the journey. Imagine having a secure and instant communication line that spans across time, maintaining the integrity of the historical data. The challenge here is maintaining the entanglement over potentially long periods and distances without losing the information. Advanced Data Reconstruction With the data transmitted to the central processing unit, the next step involves quantum computers. These computers are designed to handle the complex task of processing and interpreting the data stored in the time crystals and the transmitted quantum states. They analyze the encoded information, reconstructing the electromagnetic disturbances into a coherent picture of past events. This involves sophisticated algorithms capable of translating quantum data into understandable visual or auditory formats. The process includes noise reduction, pattern recognition, and reassembling fragmented data to form a clear and accurate representation of historical events. Visual slash auditory output. Finally, the reconstructed data is output as visual or auditory representations. Of course, this is all highly speculative and comes with numerous challenges. Quantum sensitivity. We need sensors that are sensitive enough to detect the smallest electromagnetic disturbances. Data stability. Ensuring the stability of information encoded in time crystals over long periods is another critical issue. Computational power. Processing and reconstructing quantum data requires immense computational power, far beyond what we currently have. 
energy requirements, maintaining the quantum network and sensors would require significant energy advancements. Superconductor cooling, superconductors require extremely low temperatures to function, adding another layer of complexity and energy consumption. If you enjoyed this deep dive into speculative science, hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of science.